So let's give a quick overview on what is the required background. Why do we need the oil manager, petroleum assays, and all these refinery tools? And what version do we need? And so on. So let's start by why process simulation? Why do we need to simulate processes? Well, first things first, if you are already working in the petrochemical industry or you want to work you will definitely find out plenty of unit operations and processes. So either if you are a process engineer working behind the scenes, let's say here you are working on the petrochemical plant diagram process, or you are working in production, you are in maintenance, or maybe you are improving the process directly in the plant, well, you will definitely take advantage on Aspen Hysis, and especially if you are working with different petroleums or let's say crude oils, if you have different compositions coming maybe, I don't know, monthly or maybe even each day changes the composition, you will take advantage. Now it's very, let's say, imagine that we are going to work with this fractionation column. Well, typically we are, the give, uh, we are giving with the conditions, the temperatures, the reboiler duty, inlet and outlet temperatures as, as well. And most important, the product specifications, the inlet product specification and the desired product uh, specs. So first things, we will want to model this. Once we can model it, we can then go and try to optimize. So that's definitely an advantage. And the main idea, or let's say the, the most important part will be what will happen if we change the crude oil composition, which is a very common uh, thing to do, especially with the changing markets nowadays. Now let's say you have this fractionation column, we have the pre-flash, the heater, and we want to get all these compositions right here. We start with our crude oil. So we're not going to work that much in this part, which is the simulation. We want to first characterize and be able to model our crude oil, which is of course a science per se. And this is what we'll be doing most of the course. So why simulation? Because it makes the work not only easier, but faster. Also, we can get multiple simulations working on the same process. It also allows us to understand real life scenarios. Let's say if we change the feed, for this case, if we change from, I don't know, maybe an Arab crude oil to a Turkish crude oil or maybe Egyptian crude oil and so on. We can also model and calculate future cost or the price, uh, let's say the cost of changing material, what will be the inversion uh, cost and so on. We can calculate utilities as well. And we can still modify different conditions. If we wanted to change pressure streams going maybe what will happen if we pressurize it, what will happen if we preheat it, what will happen if we add the number of stages on the fractionation column, what will happen if we directly separate it via flash and so on. So we can do plenty of things. Actually, the more creative the engineer is, the better simulation typically will be modeled. Now, which companies model with HISIS and especially I will say which companies uses crude oils, I will say, of course, the petrochemical companies and oil and gas companies. Now, of course, there are plenty of other companies which will be using Aspen Hysis, mostly these right here, which are commonly found in petrochemical areas or sites. For, for instance, we got ammonia, hydrogen gas, maybe more fine chemistry here, and so on. But I will say definitely these two guys are the main, let's say, scope of this course. You will take advantage the most if you are already in the petrochemical and oil and gas company. More benefits on simulation. Well, we can, as stated before, we can calculate plenty of physical properties, especially of our crude oil and the different streams that we will be working with. We will get plenty of plots on how our crude oil is, let's say, composed of. You know, typically a barrel contains most of gasoline, some kerosene, diesel, some bunker oil, and typically the asphalt, depending. And as well, we got sulfur content, metals, and so on. So it will be pretty interesting to
to be able to model our crude oil in a refinery. Well, this is more technical on a simulation per se. We are not going to be working that much, uh, at least on the first section. This is more on the case study. We will be able to get a mass and energy balances, which is mass, of course. It's very important if you got a pretty good quality oil, you will be able to save most of operation, separation processes and so on. But if you got a, let's say, not so nice fit, you will be able to understand that you got plenty of sulfur and you got to strip that sulfur away. Now energy balances as well, not only how much energy we are requiring, but also if you are burning, we will, you, you will be able to know if we can take advantage of some flares, maybe you can send those fuels to burn any other place, maybe work as preheater or so on. We can model all these uh, unit operations. We're not going to model them. Um, We're only going to model the basic ones, for instance, pumps, if we are preheating and separating via flash, and of course the fractionation column, which we will be working on in this case study. Now it also allows us plenty to do design, how to decrease time in the design, understand the experimental requirements before actually doing them. We can save lots of experimental uh, work if we design and find the most optimized version of our process, and especially for our oil. And well, I don't want to make this much tedious because this is probably you already know what's the benefit of a simulation, but you can still work more on the operation side, how much emissions you're going to have, the safety analysis if you have that as well, and some other advantages I will definitely recommend you guys to, well if you're a student it will definitely be a very nice, let's say, star or badge on your CV if you I don't know, maybe you are going to graduate. Well, of course, you're going to have much more advantages if you have knowledge on the process simulator Aspen Hysis. And especially if you're aiming for a petrochemical or process engineering or maybe even uh, oil and gas industry process or job post, well, this will definitely set you apart from plenty of other students. I really think this is mostly for analytical and numerical minds. It's very hard to explain about the simulations to persons that do not have this engineering mind. For instance, maybe pure chemists, it's kind of hard to explain them how we can interact with the unit operations, the streams, mass balances, dimensions, and so on. But still, they can do it because they have analytical or let's say numerical minds. And this is very good, you need to, well, you've been working before with pro, uh, any computer coding or any specification, let's say coding, computer science. Well, you know that debugging and fixing problems is very useful, especially in computers nowadays. So guys, I don't want to continue with this. Yeah, this is finished guys. Hopefully you are getting to get the idea of why do we need process simulation and specifically, the crude oil or petroleum assays.